This is section 73 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Statistics by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. Extract from The History of the Savage Club. During that period of gloom, when domestic bereavement had forced Mr. Clemens and his dear ones to secure the privacy they craved until their wounds should heal, his address was known to only a very few of his closest friends. One old friend in New York, after vain efforts to get his address, wrote him a letter addressed as follows. Mark Twain, God knows where, try London. The letter found him, and Mr. Clemens replied to the letter, expressing himself surprised and complimented that the person who was credited with knowing his whereabouts should take so much interest in him, adding, Had the letter been addressed to the care of the other party, I would naturally have expected to receive it without delay. His correspondent tried again, and addressed the second letter, Mark Twain, the devil knows where, try London. This found him also no less promptly. On June 9, 1899, he consented to visit the Savage Club, London, on condition that there was to be no publicity and no speech was to be expected from him. The Toastmaster, in proposing the health of their guest, said that as a Scotchman, and therefore as a born expert, he thought Mark Twain had little or no claim to the title of humorist. Mr. Clemens had tried to be funny, but had failed, and his true role in life was statistics. That he was a master of statistics, and loved them for their own sake, and it would be the easiest task he ever undertook if he would try to count all the real jokes he had ever made. While the Toastmaster was speaking, the members saw Mr. Clemens' eyes begin to sparkle and his cheeks to flush. He jumped up and made a characteristic speech. Perhaps I am not a humorist, but I am a first-class fool, a simpleton, for up to this moment I have believed Chairman McAllister to be a decent person, whom I could allow to mix up with my friends and relatives. The exhibition he has just made of himself reveals him to be a scoundrel and a knave of the deepest dye. I have been cruelly deceived, and it serves me right for trusting a Scotchman." Yes, I do understand figures, and I can count. I have counted the words in McAllister's drivel. I certainly cannot call it a speech. And there are exactly 3,439. I also carefully counted the lies. There were exactly 3,439. Therefore, I leave McAllister to his fate. I was sorry to have my name mentioned as one of the great authors, because they have a sad habit of dying off. Chaucer is dead, Spencer is dead, so is Milton, so is Shakespeare, and I am not feeling very well myself. End of Statistics by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman